former Chief Science Advisor to the Prime Minister and current President-elect of the International Science Council, Sir Peter Gluckman, is with me now. Uh, Sir Peter, the IPCC says it's now or never, but it feels like we've been hearing that for decades. Uh, what will it take to get people or governments to care and make the changes that are required? To listen to the science properly. I mean, I think I spoke at COP26 and I said the real issue here is not the science. We know exactly what's going on. Well, not exactly, but very well what's going on. But policymakers and the public need to make choices. And the choices are to let the world get to unacceptable uh, levels of warming. And frankly, I think it's going to be very difficult to keep to below 1.5 now. I think we're on a path to excess of two which will be catastrophic for the world. We're also really seeing effects around the world which are not nice. And every country, including New Zealand, needs to listen to the science and act. And, I mean, it, 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 the problem is, and I understand it, is it's very easy to say it can be left for another year or it can be left for another two years. It's not going to really have impact for another decade or another two decades. But it's having impact now. There are the changes in weather patterns are having impacts. Where the, the reality is that New Zealand has a profile of emissions which is distinct for the developed world, which creates a challenge. But we will have to shift our emissions profile by thinking about agriculture, by thinking about transport, by thinking about energy production. All of these are things that we have to do. So, Peter, what I'm, hearing, big... what I'm hearing is that we're not doing enough right now here in New Zealand. Even though we're just a small country, we're not doing enough. We need to do more. Well, moral leadership has something to say for it, all said and done. Uh, yes, there are the big emitters, including one across the Tasman, which are not doing what they should be doing. But if we all sit back and do nothing, then we'll all boil. And so I think that, you know, I think the government is doing the right thing. I mean, I could, I'm not going to get into the details of the Commission's work because I'm not an expert at it. But I think we have to move, make moves. We have to think about how we reduce agricultural emissions. We have to continue the move to get to more efficient transport systems and effective transport systems. We need to think about our building sector. We still build houses which are not energy efficient. We do a lot of things in New Zealand which we could do better. The report points out that nearly 16%, I think it is, of emissions are related to building. Well, we're doing an awful lot of building without a lot of thinking about uh, being energy uh, efficient buildings. There's many things we could do that we're not doing. Sometimes, Sir Peter, sometimes, Sir Peter, it can feel overwhelming to people. I know that these are big problems that are facing countries and leaders and policymakers around the world. But what is something that individuals can do here in New Zealand? demand change. I mean, at the end of the day, governments have a lot of levers. Price on carbon would make it as a very big lever if it's used. Uh, there are many things that can be done. Uh, at the individual level, I think that many New Zealanders are already starting to make changes in the way they behave. Uh, uh, eating less meat is one, even though it's even though that feels against the New Zealand culture. <laughs> They're thinking about the transport mechanisms is another. There are things that can be done, thinking about energy-saving lighting, thinking about the way they live. Now, I, it's easy for these to say these things, and I say them, and we all say them, but the issue is that we need to understand that the risk is now and we can't keep putting it off. Thanks. Science can do so much. And in the end, we will need technological solutions. But we also need to think about the solutions now. New but Zealand's invested a lot to reduce methane production from mm -hmm. cattle. There are, there are, at the moment, we're not using some of that knowledge effect effectively. It is There's a huge problem, isn't it, do. Sir Peter? But um, one that hopefully we may see the government take some real action on in May. Sir Peter Gluckman, thank you so much for joining us.